So how many of you, be honest, feel like maybe you've lost a little bit of that childhood imagination? Well, one man in Ennis has found a way to hold on to his. And this weekend, he and many others plan to share the passion with everybody. Here's, today, here's today's Giggy Bites. Whenever there's a hailstorm, Greg Brown crosses his fingers. It was a two-car garage. Because he renovated his garage. And I park outside now. So to make room for all the G.I. Joe action figures he has collected. Yeah, I can always get another car. It's harder to get another G.I. Joe, so. Obviously, Greg loves G.I. Joe. Right. Just don't call him obsessed. Obsession is such a strong word. You know, it's such a, such a strong word. Would your wife say that? Yeah, my wife would say it's an obsession. Where there was danger and adventure, there was Joe. You know? Greg's G.I. Joe fascination began at four years old when he got an Avenger Pursuit craft for Christmas. I just remember spending hours outside with the helicopter. Today, Greg has more than 200 vintage G.I. Joe action figures. It was one of the toys that really stood out to me as a kid. And he says he is not alone. This weekend is the eighth annual DFW G.I. Joe and Action Figure Show in Grapevine. Hundreds of G.I. Joe and other toy enthusiasts will be there. G.I. Joe and Action Figure Show. But Greg says it's not just for guys like him. You know, just seeing a dad with a son and the son being of awe and getting a toy is just, to me, that's priceless. It's that sense of wonder he hopes to inspire at this weekend's show. I started sparking your imagination. Because even though G.I. Joe is no longer sold in stores, everyone who comes can still find something to love. So you're going to come home with something? Yeah, just don't tell my wife. Yeah. In Ennis, <laughs> yeah. I'm Sean Giggy. And I can't even tell you, um, Greg's eyes just lit up when we started talking <laughs> about this story. And because you have a lot of wonderful memories. Oh, with a great childhood memories. I had the 12 inch black G.I. Joe. Okay, I had cool. the helicopter and all the different uniforms. And over the years, it's it's gotten lost. And I remember asking my mom years ago what happened to it because those things are, are worth some money now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Greg on the video, <laughs> he probably has it. I need to go <laughs> look for it. Give but, him a uh, call. I'm so, just yeah. picturing a bunch of adult men like in the room, like playing with them. <laughs> <laughs> that may be what's happening at I, I this I probably need event. to stay away this weekend from Grapevine. <laughs> probably? Though. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, each year the G.I. Joe show donates a portion of the proceeds to Shriners That's Hospital, great. which is cool. So if you'd like to go, the show is Saturday and Sunday at the Grapevine Convention Center. Be on the lookout for Greg.